Well, good morning, and uh, thank you for including me on the program, and thank you to the sponsors for uh, sponsoring this, uh, I think, very important event. I'm going to talk to you about the impending world oil shortage and talk about learning from the past, specifically what happened in 1973 and 1974. Before I jump into this, I'd like to make a couple of comments and what I would hope are clarifications about some things that were said yesterday. First of all, peak oil, or what I'd like to call the impending decline of world oil production, is a liquid fuels problem. It is not an energy problem in the way people often talk about it. The reason for that is that worldwide there is something like 50 to 100 trillion dollars worth of capital equipment that was built to operate on liquid fuels. There is no way we're going to change that quickly. And when fuels go into shortage and prices go up, it's a liquid fuels problem and electrification which renewables and nuclear and other sources can provide are not going to have any impact quickly. And it's extremely important that that be uh, understood. Longer term, I totally believe that we're going to electrify a lot of our technologies and we will have a better longer term future. It just won't happen quickly. Some definitions and their impl Im implications. Uh, first, I'm talking about here uh, prediction, which has a relatively high degree of uh, certainty associated with it. Then there is anticipation, which has a lower level of certainty. And then there is suggestion, which is something to think about. In our particular framework here, prediction. World oil production will go into decline at some future date. I have no doubt about that at all. Anticipation. Our work, in uh, particularly the group that, uh, that I'm dealing with, we believe and anticipate that world oil production will go into decline sometime in the next one to four years. A year ago, that was two to five years, and we're going to stick to our guns. The suggestion that I will make, and a good part of my presentation will tell you about, is that public reactions to the realization of the decline, the onset of the decline of world oil production will be something like what happened in 1973 and 74 and also in 1979. Here's a picture which we consider to be fact, but there's always uncertainty, so I put a question mark there. World oil production had been rising until about early 19, uh, 2004, and then it reached a plateau, and it has been on that plateau, maybe with a little bit of rise, a fluctuating plateau, during that period of time, with a relatively small uh, band of fluctuations. Our anticipation, what we think is likely to happen, is that we will stay on this plateau, or very slight rise, for the next one to four years, and then world oil production, total liquid fuels, will go into decline. There's two conceivable paths that I indicate here. One is a very, very small decline rate of something much, much less than 1%. If that happens, I think that societies will be able to manage that problem reasonably well. On the other hand, if we go to something of the order of 3 or 4%, that is effectively catastrophic when you work through the numbers. Our belief is that uh, we're going to hit something like 3 to 4% decline in this one to four year period. If you take production as a function of time, and there's the increase to 2004 and then the continuation, and then decline thereafter. If you take that model and you, you consider what would happen if to the de date of decline, um, if we cut uh, production, excuse me, uh, production and demand by something like a million barrels a day, if you run through the simple numbers, it turns out to be a matter of weeks of difference for the longer period, the four-year period. 
So the recession that we're in, if indeed there is a reduction in, uh, in the demand and production of uh, liquid fuels worldwide, uh, it's not going to make a big difference in terms of the date of the onset.